So, Hollywood, can you realize that you do not know how to relate to an average person, okay? Hollywood is essentially, they always have been just out of touch with the average person, you know? They always have been very, very out of touch with people, but this isn't again. New York City was one of the worst hit part places in the world by the virus, okay? But Jerry Seinfeld had a hit show about nothing, about how he posts about viral cow about something, how his beloved New York City is not dead, and he tells away to wipe your tears for your butt and pull it together, okay? And also there's, and also there's political reasons why people are leaving, and also those other... I'm going to go over the political reasons, but a lot of the reasons is because of the virus, okay? The virus. People don't want to be in New York because of how bad it was, okay? And yeah, Miami, it, was, it had, you know, has got hit hard as well by the virus. But yes, the economy has been the worst hit in New York. Probably out of any state. But yeah, New York City, he, he complained that people are leaving New York City. Be able to play test day and, and go into the comedy club. Well, ahead, New York City, yeah, but you sit in your mansion while people struggle. Dealing with the virus, dealing with a bunch of crazy, dealing with crime, and other things that you... Hollywood elites don't know what it's like to be a normal person. Okay, most people in Hollywood don't know what it's, don't haven't known what it's like to be a normal person since they became famous. Okay, you know, and yeah, that's how Hollywood is. They have always been out of touch with the average person. They always been. Out of touch with people, okay? And yeah, this is just another article, more proof that Hollywood. Seinfeld's not a Hollywood person, okay? You know, very out of touch with the average person, you know? And yeah. You know, this is absolutely ridiculous. Telling people that they shouldn't leave New York because we, you don't know where it's like, you, you, you know... You know, you know, they, it's just, this, this is Hollywood, it's just crazy. And they, they want, it don't hold up, imagine to be a real war, this guy on your side. Again, all he does, all, you know, he has a lot of money. Most of all people who live paycheck to paycheck don't know what, don't know. They wish they could live like him, but they can't because they live paycheck to paycheck, okay? Those people, you know, yeah, they, they, yeah, Seinfeld also, even to say it's unlike millions of New Yorkers who remain doing the best of AIDS of poem screen on terms of one and other virus stuff. But again, you find a place in Florida, well, we all know Florida you know, home is going away too. What in Tokyo, the East Village? <laughs> again. Again, again, every city has its period of decline and upbringing. London had its decline in the 70s and 80s, and it started increasing again in the 90s. And I think New York City will be the same thing that happened to London in the 70s. Okay? London's population was going down for like 20 years, I think. And then it finally started going back up again. And yeah, that's, you know, do you, you know, and again, a lot of these celebrities, a lot of these Hollywood people, and a lot of these, you know, people, Hollywood celebrities, they're not they're good stocking irrelevant. Because most of the people are getting sick of them. Okay? They don't, they're just so out of touch with most people. Okay? And the sad thing is, the people that the people that, that they complain about the most, i.e. the president, the president probably knows more about the average person than any of the Hollywood celebrities do. Taylor Swift. Okay, Seinfeld, Ellen, all of these Hollywood elites who are extremely just out of touch with the average person. So that's basically it. Goodbye.